Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to configure Pike version 2 IPsec tunnel between two Palo Alto device. So this is my topology. As you can see, this is the Palo Alto 1. And on the other hand, you have Palo Alto 2. And I'm going to use ETH1 and ETH1 on Palo Alto 2. So the IP configured on ETH1 is 14144027. On the other end, you have 14144028. These are the IP. These are the IPs configured on loopback interface. Similarly, here you have these IPs configured on loopback interface. And everything is in trust zone. Here also, everything is in trust zone. Okay, so let's get started. This is my Palo Alto one. As you can see, um, this is my interface, eat one slash one. So if you click on this, you will see you can see the virtual router as default, security zone as trust, and the IP address. I have kept it in DHCP. So you can see here, this interface is receiving the IP 14140427. And in the same way, loopback and loopback one is configured with IP 1111 and 3.3.3.3. .3 and there's a tunnel interface. Okay, there's no IP configured on this. And tunnel interface is again in trust zone. Let's go to the Palo Alto 2. So you can see here, ETH1. So you can see here, ETH1 is under virtual router default and security zone trust. Here again, I have a DHCP configuration. Okay. And the DHCP IP is 40.828, like I showed you in the picture. So these are my peer IPs. This is the peer IP of Palo Alto 1. And this is the peer IP of Palo Alto 2. And the loopback interface, 2.2.2.2 on loopback and 4.4.4.4 on loopback one. And similarly, you have tunnel interface, which is in trust zone and the default PR. So now you have all the IPs configured on all the interfaces. Now you have to create the IP gateway, okay? Before that, you will have to create the proposal. This is a phase one proposal. You can see here, DH group group two, three dash, SHA one, eight hours. In the same way, if you see here, I have group two, three dash, SHA one, eight hours. And this is phase two proposal. ESP three dash SHA one group two one R. And similarly, I have phase two proposal ESP three dash SHA one group two one R. 
So now we have phase one proposal and phase two proposal. Now we have to first create the gateway. You can click on add and you can create the gateway. Since I am already having the gateway, I can show you the configuration what I have. So you have to type the name and you have to choose I version two here. And then you have to select the exit interface. In my case, it is eat one slash one. We are in Palo Alto 2. Let's show you under Palo Alto 1. So you can see here, the name is PA2, okay? And here I've selected the second option, I2. This is the exit interface, which is E1 slash 1. Keep it none. And then the peer IP address type, click IP and type the peer IP address, which is 28, as you can see here. And then the pre shared key, this should be matching on each end. Local identity, well, I don't want to configure it now since this is testing that I'm doing with the Palo Alto device. In advanced option, I have clicked uh, enable NAT traversal. And here you have to select the phase one proposal and then the liveliness check five. Well, if you want to do strict cookie validation, which is going to avoid any sort of toss attack, then you can click on this and you can set the threshold as well. But then like I told you that I'm doing a testing so I don't require any such attributes here. And let me show you the configuration on Palo Alto 2. See here, second option I've chosen. E1 is the external interface. IP address, this is the IP of the other end. This one. Appreciate key should be matching on each end local identification well i don't have it uh, as such now advanced option I have clicked nat traversal so in ike version 2 by default nat traversal is enabled but then you can disable it in palo alto i guess and then this is the phase one proposal and the liveliness check well in ike version 2 uh, the dpd is uh, replaced by uh, informational message exchange, which uh, does the liveliness check. All right, so we have our phase one configured on each end. So now we will see phase two. So if you click on IPsec tunnel, you can click on add to add new, but then I already have the VPN tunnel configured. I'm going to show you the configuration. So you can see here, I've given the name as VPN and you have to select the VPN tunnel interface. This is auto key. Okay, address type is IPv4. Gateway, the one that we created just now here. And this is a phase two proposal. Well, the proposal that you have created under IPsec crypto. Proxy ID, you can see here. I have two proxy ID configured here. One is this one, another one is this one. So in one proxy ID, I have configured this as source and this as destination. In another proxy ID entry, I have this as source and this as destination. Okay, so all together I have two proxy ID, one, two. And in the same way, I have the same settings on the other end, but in uh, reverse manner. If you see the proxy ID, it is exactly opposite to the one that I have on the Palo Alto one. So 
So you can see here, it is exactly opposite. So now you are done with the configuration of IPsec. Now that you have to have a route present in your default VR in our case to route the traffic or to point the traffic towards your tunnel interface. You can see here, I have two routes. Okay, so this is the name of the route. This is the destination. I have pointed it to the tunnel interface. Okay, and next stop I have selected as none. And in the same way I have the second entry. And on the other end, I have the similar entries. Okay, so now we have all the configuration in place. Now we can test. So I'm going to source my IP. Uh, source my ping from 1.1.1.1 and my host is going to be 2.2.2.2 like the scenario that I showed you. I'm going to ping from here to here. Okay. So you can see here, I'm able to ping that. Now I'll replace this with my second proxy ID entry. So you can see here, I'm able to ping. This is the information, phase one, IKSA. You can see here, IKNIT. Twenty eight is the other end. These are the child essay, as you can see. These are the proxy ID name one and two. So whenever you initiate the traffic from any encryption domain that you have specified, it is going to create a child essay in Ike version two. So these are uh, my phase two configuration. All right, guys, uh, that's all in this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and stay safe. Bye-bye.